They've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. And at this cycling cafe in London, they were here to celebrate Bradley Wiggins' Tour de France win. Biggest cycling race in the world. Britain's never never had a win. It's it's huge. It's huge. And we're all really excited about it. Really happy for him. Yeah. Well, I live in London and it's cycling's always been really popular here with the Boris bikes and everything now. But I think this is gonna yeah, it's gonna really rock it from this. It's fantastic. And there was praise too from the Prime Minister. To win the Tour de France is an immense feat of physical and, and mental ability and aptitude. And uh, I think the whole country wants to say, well done, brilliant. The perfect backdrop and start for the Olympics. Wiggins' long road to tour success started at Hernhill Velodrome in South London. He began training here 20 years ago, age 12. And for the young cyclists racing here today, the fact that this is where Bradley Wiggins once rode is a very special source of inspiration. I'd like to ride in a tour one day, you know, become a professional rider, you know, because, you know, because, you know, Bradley Wiggins winning the tour and all the things he's done this year, you know, it really inspires me. It makes us believe in ourselves more because we think, oh, well, if he's come from Herne Hill, then maybe we've got a chance. So Wiggins' win is already driving the ambitions of Britain's next generation of cyclists. Martha Fairley, ITV News. <laughs>